so today we're going to be working, it's a father and a son project, working on the, what is this, 2009? 2009 Prius, 2008, I think it's a 2008 Prius. The hybrid battery has gone bad. So we just so happen to have another battery right here out of his old car. And this one was repaired, some cells, banks or whatever were changed right before we got the car so now we're getting into this one we gotta get the battery out of here which is back here and he's already started he's taken all of the flooring stuff out this has to come out this has to come out this cover comes off wow, it's hot. cover this cover over here comes off so now we can get to the battery and we can disconnect the 12 volt battery. This has come off. Yeah, everything's like hot. It's a thousand degrees outside. Um, we gotta take the, the seats, gotta get unbolted. This has to come off. I think this just pops off. I only, did, I only did this once before. This. Oh, this clips. Woo! Should have. So warm. Take the seatbelt off. No, there's clips on this side. You gotta open the other door. There's clips. We, gotta, we need some light. Alright, we're gonna get some light back here see what the heck we're doing that's not a good place for that um we gotta start ripping some more stuff off we'll be right back all right so we just took that cover off it's the only other thing we took off we disconnected the 12 volt battery now we're going to disconnect the high voltage you gotta do something like this pull this up push this back and pull this out that disconnects the battery. That's the fuse. So now we save this. Okay. Now we can take start taking this off. Um, so it's going to be these screws here. I don't remember if I had to take that off. I know we got to get this uh, this stuff off, and we have to, and there's and there's bolts on the other side over by the seat. So you need to take the seat off. So see these here? This one, these four, those have to come off. Those guys off and then just, I, I believe the one seat, we can get out of the way, the, the left seat, the right seat, you can get it out of the way, but, but you can't take it out because the seat belt's stuck on there. I think you just leave it. So that's probably, I don't know what, 15? This seat is going to be stuck here because of the seatbelt. Okay. You don't take it out, you can just leave it in the car. See, the seatbelt gets attached to the seat, so we just leave it. Um, there's these bolts here. <clears throat> See these here? One, two, three. Here, here, and there, that comes off. When I took stuff off the other car, uh, I just started taking bolts off. I, uh, <clears throat> I just took way too much that I needed to. This I'm trying to leave because we have to put it back in. I'm trying to not take everything that we need to go off. This cover, we gotta definitely get this cover off. Yeah, take those off. Huh? Looks like it's missing. 
You keeping them all in your pocket? Oh, come on. God. Well, how many separate pockets? This small one. Those four. One, two, three. All right, give me this one. I'll take these side off. This has come off because that's the uh, that's the protective cover. So right. So we got that plate off. Now there's two screws here. One there, one there. Yeah, we gotta take this off. All right, take that off. Be careful. Okay. Now, yeah, we just can take this off. Come on. Or just move that out of the way. See that those two there? Okay, it's a. It's an eight. I don't know if it's power to them. I don't think. Moving. Take the two bolts off first. I think it's like 200 volts. So now you just take this guy, take it off. Okay. Um, we'll leave the bolts off for now. All right, is it loose? Still hell on over there? Let's see if you move it up. I think it's disconnected. Is there anything else left? I'm still holding it. There's a hose here that's connected. Vent hose. I didn't really have to take that off, I guess. Um, and something's connected there still? I don't think so. I think it's free. There's something down here. What do you mean? No, that clip's not hooked. That, that shouldn't be... That should be connected to the... To the box. I think lift it up. Lift it up. Yeah, it's out. Just gotta lift it out. Get in there, grab it in the middle. <laughs> this vent is... What's the problem? I don't know how this vent is supposed to get out of the way. Well, I guess you're supposed to pull this whole panel off. I mean, in the other car, they kind of just yanked it because it was garbage. I don't know why 
this doesn't come out. Let's, let's bolt it on somewhere else. All right, we'll be right back. All right, so remember to, what, oh, this way? To take these, uh, unplug these things. All right, huh? Is there still something connected? I don't think so. Flipped. There it goes. I'll put it over there. Don't hit any, try not to hit anything. All right. Let's see. Uh, so this is the way it goes. We need to take, we should take this off. I don't know what this does, but you're missing it. Put it on this one. Make this one look brand new. All right. Um, so I guess we have to take this cover off. Right? And then on the other, on this side here, let me see by. Oh, okay. Yeah. So this one still has this metal piece on it. I didn't take it off. Take this this piece out. All right, and then we're gonna put that one in there and reverse process. Put a million bolts back in it. Okay. We got it almost. Well, it's in. The battery's in. Yeah, this bolt here in front, here and here. Three in the front. And then you have over here, you have to take this bracket off, right? One, two, three, four there. Clip, make sure you put your um, vent back in there. There's also a vent tube in here. Make sure you get the vent tube hooked back up. Over here, make sure, because you, you, you have to take this cover off. Make sure you put these guys back in. We just forgot that, and we had to, we had to take it all apart again. Hook the wires up, the little eight, eight, millimeter nuts 10 millimeter nuts here screw that on and now we're gonna put this piece back on and you have to remember there's two over here so there's one hidden up in here underneath the carpet and you have these two here that are hidden on the carpet so you got to get all those in let's see the back here this holds the battery these two this holds a little that bracket on once again get this in you don't have to remove these these can stay um, this one you got to put back in because it's part of this cover and like this one that one like I said before and then we, when you put this on see it's still loose once you get this on I'll tighten that up we put all the connectors in we still have the fuse out and 12 volt battery still disconnected so I think we're gonna get this cover on connect the battery and I think that's everything we just have to do the seats. We're gonna start the car up and see what what we got. All right. Right side. Huh? Right side. Might be the way. We got the seats all in. Seat belts put back where they're supposed to go. We had a little problem with the fuse. A disconnect. Swapped it out with the other one. I don't know. I don't know if this... It doesn't look like this thing's bad. Maybe we just needed to get a better connection in there. I don't know. But we went to start it up. And the car wouldn't start. It was giving us some code. I uh, took the other one out. Put this... Or, took this one out. Put the other one in. And it worked fine. Um, so there we are. We're wrapping it up. Putting everything back together. Good. Up in the air. Maybe this isn't in, in there. All right, that's it. It's fixed. Well, we think it's fixed. Put in the, I put another used battery in it, but now we have that other battery. I can go and. I really want to. I mean, this looks like it hasn't been touched. 
Well, what do you think? You think this one was taken apart? It was missing bolts, right? So it was missing some, like this is messed up here. It's missing a, a nut here. So this might have been taken apart. And um, who knows what they did to it. Nobody put any notes or anything on it. Yep, that's why that one's nice. It had some notes on it from 2023. They at least did something to it. This one, I have no idea. But I can probably get this one fixed up and reconditioned. And if the battery goes again, boom, I have it right there. Or I'll just wait until the battery goes again and I'll have it. I don't, I don't know. I'll figure something out. Maybe I'll rebuild it and just have it sitting here. And if something happens, I can, I can sell that thing. Anyway, that's it. Thanks a lot for watching. It's... Engine kicked on. All right. Uh, the other thing, get that Dr. Prius app. This, that told us the codes. It told us um, if the battery is bad and stuff like that. So anyway, it's up and running again. Hopefully we don't have any more problems with it. But that didn't take that long. I don't know, maybe an hour. It's good to have somebody strong to help you get the battery out. So I was happy about that. It took like an hour and a half. I think I got an hour and a half to do that. Um, you know, swapping old battery, taking the old battery out, put the new one in. Uh, I just want to thank everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, share, do all that good stuff. Hopefully, maybe this video can help somebody with uh, swapping out a battery pack. It's not that hard of a job. It was just, there's a ton of bolts. I mean, the bolts I took out of the other one, I saved them all. And here they are. I mean, that's a lot of the bolts that came out of the other car. So, a lot of bolts. Thanks a lot. I'll talk to you later. See ya.